So I'm Ed Suffern, I'm a senior engineer here at IBM at Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. Let's talk about the noisy neighbor problem in a retail environment. Whenever you get on the internet and you click and go to a site and you don't get an adequate response time, that is an example of the noisy neighbor problem. I think everybody's been affected by the noisy neighbor problem. The noisy neighbor is a group of people that are constantly online, constantly searching for things, constantly using up the bandwidth and the dynamic provision of virtual machines allows me to not have to compete with all these people online. Cyber Monday, a lot of people get online because they have really good deals. The problem is always getting my response back to the user in an acceptable amount of time. And if I can't send it to the customer, the customer is going to get upset and the customer is going to log off and order from somebody else. Anytime a number of users wants to access the same information at the same time, dynamic provisioning of virtual machines will alleviate that problem. We actually saw it three years ago when we were talking about potential areas of concern with virtual machines in an ordering system. We foresaw what was going to occur, you know, and it really did happen last year in some of the ordering systems. So what we said is, okay, we know when we're going to approach the limit of getting information out to the customer. And when we get close to that limit, what we're going to do is we're going to move a user from one physical server to a different physical server. So as people log on, they're actually spread across and the hotspots are eliminated and the customer has a pleasant experience on the internet. So IBM is a leader in cloud computing and as a leader, you have to maintain your leadership. You can't ever sit back on your laurels. So we have to be constantly inventing, constantly working together. We've developed a number of patents in this area where we really don't have this problem uh, existing in the IBM cloud infrastructure. So we realized that, you know, really nobody's ever thought about this and we searched through the patent database before we filed this patent. We could not find anybody that had ever even thought of this problem. I don't think there are really any other solutions out there for this problem right now. Thank you.